Good morning. It gives me great pleasure today to introduce to you Daniel Del Pilar. Daniel is the pastoral care worker or chaplain at both campuses of the Norwood Murray Alta High Schools. Daniel's been with us for about 20 odd months and we're very proud to say that he is doing an absolutely amazing job with all the staff, the children and the parents of both the campuses. So please welcome Daniel. He is going to give us an outline of what he's been doing at the schools, both campuses, for the last 20 months. Thank you. Good morning. Um, so before I get started, I just want to say thank you to all of you for inviting me here today. Um, it is always a unique experience for me to meet my brothers and sisters in Christ in different churches. And it is great to see the people who have been praying and supporting me and my school. And so I want to encourage you that every little thing that you do has an impact. And so from the bottom of my heart, really, thank you very much. So um, a few questions that I got asked and wanted to share with you guys is how was it when I first started in the school? And um, it's quite interesting, especially um, being me and the way that I look. I look quite young. I'm, I look younger than I am. I'm 25 years old. And um, my first uh, few weeks in the school, I entered in and um, some of the teachers kind of thought I was a student and asked me why I wasn't wearing the, the uniform. Um, we also had a change of uh, principal and I was sitting with a year eight student and I was wearing shorts because it was a very hot day and I get the privilege of wearing pretty much anything I want as long as it's appropriate um, and I don't have to dress up too much. Um, and uh, the principal walks in and I was working with a student and we were working on some maths questions and she looks at me and goes, what's all this? And I looked at her really confused because I just had a chat with her th the day before and she kept going, what's all this? And I really had no idea what she was talking about. And then I realized it's probably because of what I was wearing. And so I had to show her that I had a lanyard and I'm a staff member and remember that I was just talking to her the day before. And she realized that it was me, I'm Daniel and I'm the pastoral care worker. And the student looked at me very horrified and she left and I told the students it's okay to laugh. And they did, it was, it was a pretty funny day. Um, some of the activities I've been involved in um, this year and last year are um, different youth well-being programs, which is pretty much the focus of my work. Um, one of the things was the community gardening that we did with Milpara ACH. And some of you would have seen the, um, the pictures that I sent uh, last year. And those are the artworks that some of the students um, that were spending on during their lunchtime and recess. Um, other things would be excursions, and I really enjoy those. Those are times when I can have quite real conversations with students and they're quite free to pretty much um, talk their heart out um, without feeling uh, quite constrained with the things that they say and so I kind of give them that opportunity to be, to be honest and real and I think that's um, something that they don't often get to do. Um, I also get I spend time in sports days and other excursions um, one of the things that uh, we, we're doing this year is the PermaPlus model of um, positive psychology and things like that. And um, I love it and it's good for well-being, but one of the things that kind of breaks my heart is that the grounding and the foundation of it um, is quite different to we, what we as Christians have our grounding and values set on, and that is in Jesus. And um, over time, I think uh, some of those groundings that they don't have tends to fail and it breaks my heart to see that. Um, and, and part of my work and, and the things that I can and can't talk about, um, it's just modeling what, what it is to, to have that hope that comes from Christ. And that's not always easy to do, but it's something that I'm quite passionate about. And, and sowing those seeds that I may not be able to harvest, but other people in their lives and other Christians, especially in other churches um, where you guys come in, essentially. That's something that um, in my heart is quite um, strong and I'm quite passionate about that. And having connections with churches like yours is something that I'm very, very passionate about as well. Um, so I've got a few things written down. Um, so it's been, it's been a great privilege for me to be working and partnering with you in supporting the young people in our community, specifically partnering with local churches like Morialata Uniting Church in providing a chaplaincy service to our local schools, namely Norwood Morialata High School. 
Um, I'm quite lucky and indeed blessed to be working in an environment where I get to do what I love, and I really do love it, and I get paid for it, which is great. Um, it's not without its struggles and difficulties, but it continues to be a privilege. Um, please pray for us. Pray for me. Pray for my school community. Um, pray for our community. This is our community. Because um, even through all the political and community dramas, <laughs> I don't know how God's going to do it. I, I don't know how he's going to move. But I trust that if I remain faithful in the work that he has placed me in, then he will show me his wonder and his glory. And we get to share in that. And I think that's quite beautiful. So uh, thank you very much for having me here. Um, please pray for me. And please pray for our schools. Um, thank you. Daniel's being a bit modest here, I think. Um, Daniel, would you just like to tell us that what the school has also asked you to do outside of the work you do for the, pa the pastoral care workers, actually working with the students on behalf of the school? So um, uh, last year I was involved in a few things and I thought, well, my skill set, having some background in science and mathematics, I thought I'd help out with some classes and um, some supervised study on the Wednesday mornings. And that opened um, quite a few doors um, with my role in the school. So they've employed me as an SSO um, for curriculum support and in some cases for students with special needs as well. And so that has basically increased my time in the school to develop those relationships. And the school has been very, very kind to be flexible with the work that I do in there. And so I do sit in classes and help them out in um, some of the science and maths and even other subjects as well, which has been really, really good. Like God has opened a lot of doors and um, there's little things that happens on a day-to-day -day basis that I have no idea what it's for or what it's gonna do, but months later, God opens something that's far greater than what I thought it would have been, and it's, it's quite awesome. And, and just seeing God work in that way, even though it seems quite small, and for us, I think we don't look far enough or wide enough to see those things, and it's, yeah, quite a privilege, indeed. 